What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about Apple wanting to do what Sony's doing. How often do you hear this? Usually everybody follows Apple. Apparently, Sony's been making some really good choices when it comes to the PlayStation VR. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but the PlayStation VR is on track to outdo the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive in the first year. Uh, they're estimating 766,000 sales of PlayStation VR. I own one. Uh, my brother has one. Uh, Briar Rabbit has one. A lot of people I know have the PlayStation VR. It's a great piece of hardware, uh, and it allows you to do incredible things. Apple apparently wants to get into the virtual reality space and the augmented reality space, and apparently Sony's idea of the PlayStation VR kind of prompted this measure. I'll drop a link in the description. As Apple shows interest in AR and VR, PlayStation VR a strong start suggests price beats performance. The latest and most affordable high profile entrant into the emerging virtual reality space, PlayStation VR, is off to a successful start, suggesting consumers are more interested in advanced VR technology if it's available in a simple and economical package. Apple chief executive Tim Cook had repeatedly expressed interest in both virtual reality and augmented reality, stating that he sees potential in both. But while he said VR has some, quote, interesting applications, end quote, like games as the PlayStation VR provides, Cook sees more opportunities in augmented reality, and his company continues to invest accordingly. As Apple invests, current market players HTC Vive and Facebook's Oculus Rift have seen their corner of the market shaken up by PlayStation VR. PlayStation VR officially launched in October, starting at $399, and is compatible with the sub-$300 PS4 game console, of which Sony has already sold over 40 million. In contrast, more powerful Vive and Rift headsets cost hundreds of dollars more and require expensive Windows PCs that can run well over a thousand dollars. On the lower end of the market, Samsung sells the Gear VR headset for a hundred dollars and Google's Daydream is priced at seventy nine dollars. Though both require compatible smartphones and do not offer the same level of performance as PSVR. Even Apple's iPhone can support low-end VR apps with affordable accessories like Google Cardboard. In a sense, PlayStation VR occupies something in the middle ground, more affordable than high-end PC virtual reality, but also more compatible than cheap smartphone-based versions. In uncharacteristic comments about the company's future product plans, Cook has admitted that Apple is, quote, doing a lot of things, end quote, in the augmented reality space, calling both it and virtual reality, quote, incredibly interesting, end quote. While virtual reality can transport users to entirely new worlds, augmented reality integrates cameras and sensors to blur the lines between the real world and the virtual one. In Cook's view, augmented reality can eventually amplify human contact. Augmented reality can be thought of as a layer of digital information overlaid onto the physical world. Advanced versions of this immersive technology use specialized transparent displays. Though developers working within contemporary hardware constraints have created effective analogs using smartphone cameras and displays, Niantic's hit game, Pokemon Go, available for iOS, is is one such example. Though Apple has yet to outline an official AR strategy, the company is making strategic AR segment purchases like last year's acquisition of motion capture specialist FaceShift and German AR firm Mattel. The company is also developing support tech in-house as evidenced by a growing portfolio of AR and VR patents like transparent displays, iPhone-powered virtual reality systems, advanced computer tech, and more. Piper Jeffrey, analyst, and AR VR proponent Gene Munster have predicted that virtual and augmented reality applications and accessories could become part of the official, quote, made for iPhone, end quote, licensing program within the next few years. So, somebody's learning. Obviously, everybody, look guys, some people are still, some people don't want to take the VCR tape out. Some people just don't want to do it. Some people are sitting in front of the TV right now watching Aladdin on VHS and they don't want to take it out and say, well, if I do that, I'm going to have to go to DVD. If I do DVD, I'm going to have to go to Blu-ray. If I do that, I'm going to have to go to 4K. People just don't want to change. And there, there's a demographic of people out there who do not understand that VR and AR are the future. It really is. Uh, once you put that damn headset on, it's over. You're sold. I'm telling you as someone who owns VR, someone who plays VR on an almost daily basis, it takes you out of the realm of reality and puts you in a different place. It's not, you're no longer watching a game, you're actually in it, taking part in that world. AR and VR are incredible, 
Apple is learning from PlayStation. I think PlayStation is going to continue to uh, dominate the VR space, at least until Xbox can come up with something that can compete. Of course, we know that the Scorpio is going to be VR compatible, but I don't know if people are going to want to go and spend $600 on an Oculus Rift or $800 on an HTC Vive to play on their Scorpio. It's just going to be too much money. They've got to come with a more economically sound option. But right now, Apple is jumping on the bandwagon. Who knows if they're going to get hardcore into gaming. Something tells me it'll be other applications, more useful applications, and practical for life. But they are learning from PlayStation, and Sony's continuing to dominate with the PlayStation VR. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below about VR. Are you excited that everybody is going towards augmented reality and virtual reality? Are you shocked? I'm not. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and if you'd like to support my channel and support what I do here at Beastly Gamer, you can do that by going to BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.